And joining us now to talk about plans to increase the income tax threshold is financial analyst Dennis Chung. Mr. Chung, thanks for joining us. First of all, as you heard in the previous story, last year, CAPRA suggested that the income tax threshold should move from 1.5 million to 2.2 million. Is this proposal still feasible or should it be adjusted? Yeah, um, I don't think Capri actually said it should move. They said if you want to maintain parity with purchasing power, then it would mean moving it to 2.2. It's not practical to go there um, in uh, definitely in one go and without proper financing. Um, if you look at the fiscal def fiscal surplus um, for the nine months, we're running about $14 billion. Um, if you were to extend that out to the end of the year, you might end up with a fiscal uh, surplus of close to $20 billion. If you were to increase the income tax threshold by about 500,000, it will affect about 200,000 people. It will have a direct impact um, on the negative impact on the, the fiscal revenues of 25 billion, which is more than the fiscal surplus. Um, assuming that some of that comes back in GCT and um, and also, you know, um, tax on people who actually earn above that, you might be looking at closer to about $15 billion. Um, that still means that you're going to wipe out your fiscal surplus. All right. I want, uh, I want so to come I back. I want to come back to the GCT thing you mentioned there. But before we go there, uh, would the new public sector compensation regime have any impact on this assessment? Um, no, I know, no, I don't think it, it, it would. Why not? Um, be, uh, because you, you, you're really looking at those people in the public sector would, 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 would really have been in the persons who are already benefiting the 200,000. Income tax is a very inefficient tax, you know. If a labor force of 1.3 million, we just have about 400 and something thousand people that are on PAYE. So it's a very inefficient tax. So I... I maintain that you need to move away from direct taxation, but the only way it can be done, I think, that makes sense for us as a country is that if you get financing elsewhere, as I was saying, I would propose that you, you, you do away with eventually and move the income tax threshold up and eventually eliminate income tax and increase GCT. That's where I would see it. Um, that's the most efficient way for the consumer. That's the most efficient way for the economy for that to be done. But there is no other way. And I hear people, as you were saying, talk about reducing GCT um, to 10% and, you know, people saying increase the income tax threshold to $3 million. We'll be looking back at 2013 when the economy almost fell off a cliff. We can't afford to do that. And, and giving people money back in their hands without... The, the requisite productivity increase is just going to cause inflation. So if you look at what Capri says, um, you know, to, to bring back purchasing power parity, you have to increase it to 2.2 million. That shows the amount of how income has eroded because of inflation. And therefore, if you do that, you're going to have inflation affecting people again. So I think that, you know, what is being said on both sides, the three million, which is totally impractical, and 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 maybe looking at two million dollars, is is not something that you can just implement. That I remember the last time it was done, right when it went to one point five. Remember that people earning ten, over ten million actually started paying more taxes. Right. So it was not straight. Thing you know, it, it it had to be financed somewhere. All right, and and, and if, similarly and in this case, we're going to have to finance it. Right, and that that leads me to my next question: uh, What would be the impact then on the budget if we go that route? If you go that route, you're going to have to neutralize it, as I was saying. Um, so you might give up something uh, in terms of the income tax threshold on about two hundred thousand people, but you're going to have to find the tax elsewhere. And I, I, I'm not saying it shouldn't be done. I'm saying it should be done by increasing GCT, right? Because GCT is much more efficient as a tax. Um, but it's not a straight thing. So what people are thinking about now, oh, you know, we're going to get this this um, a 100 and odd thousand dollars on our salary because really 25% right. um, that you're getting back. Um, but it's not, it's not straight like that. 
it, they're going to have to finance it somewhere and they can't use a fiscal surplus to do that. Okay, it sounds like we'll have to continue this discussion further as the, as the time goes on leading up to budget and the elections. Thank you very much, Dennis Strong, their financial analyst. Yeah, man.